we have a classic problem in front of us. Which one is greater in value, e to the pi or pi to the e? Of course, the fastest way is to just plug them into our calculator and compare the values. And we are going to get that e to the pi is around 23.141 and pi to the e is approximately, wait, I don't want to spoil it. So I'm going to tell you the value of pi to the e later on. And really, using a calculator is kind of cheating. So let's try finding a more elegant approach. But before we begin, we have to acquaint ourselves with the inequality e to the x is greater than or equal to 1 plus x for all real values of x. And also the equality, equality only occurs if and only if x is equal to 0. So e to the x is always greater than 1 plus x for every value of x except when x is 0. And when x is 0, e to the x is going to be equal to 1 plus x as we can see right away. When x is 0, we get 1 is equal to 1. And the fastest way of proving this is by considering the graph of e to the x and 1 plus x. If you graph e to the x, you are going to get this function that's increasing and concave up. So this is graph of e to the x. And if you graph 1 plus x, it's very easy to verify that 1 plus x is the equation of the tangent line to e to the x at x equals to 0. So we know this is 1 plus x. And because e to the x is concave up, concave upward, for all real values of x, we know that e to the x is going to lie above, above each of the tangent lines. And of course, we are going to have the equality when x is 0. So we have shown this because e to the x is concave up. And you may say, how do we transform this into e to the pi and pi to the e? Obviously, if we just plug in pi, we get e to the pi is greater than or equal to 1 plus pi. That's not what we want to compare. Well, we're not going to plug in pi, but we are going to plug in x is equal to pi over e minus 1. And we are going to be done. Why? Because when x is pi over e minus 1, we get e to the pi over e minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 plus pi over e minus 1 or pi over e, and because e to the negative first power is the same thing as the dividing by e, we have this equality, and we see that e is going to cancel out, these e's are going to cancel out, and raising each side with the power of e gets us e to the pi is greater than or equal to pi to the e. Now is this greater than or equal to or greater than? Well, we only have the equality if x is 0. And in our case, we have x being pi over e minus 1. Well, if x is 0, then we get pi over e is 1, or pi is equal to e. But that's a contradiction, because pi and e have different values. So we see that we don't have x equals to 0, so our inequality is strict. So we can conclude that e to the pi is greater than pi to the e. Now, you may have realized something interesting. We did not use anything special about pi. That is, we did not use any properties of pi inherent in the number pi. And really, the only property of pi, I guess, that we used was that pi and e do not have the same value. So it seems like we can repeat the same proof for even for the values other than pi. So you may say, it looks like e to the k is always greater than k to the e for all k greater than or equal to 0. Why are we not considering the negative case? Well, if k is negative, raising it to a fractional power can get you an imaginary number. And we can't really compare the imaginary numbers the same way we compare real numbers. So we are only going to focus our attention for non-negative k. And of course, it looks like we may have the equality when our value of k is equal to e. So it looks like we have the equality, equality if and only if k is equal to e. 
And we see if we plug in e to k, we get e to the e is equal to e to the e. So we do have equality when k is e. So how do we prove this? How do we show that e to the k is always greater than k to the e except when k is e? Well, we're going to do the exactly the same thing. Instead of pi, we are just going to use k. So we have k and when you raise it to e power, we're going to get e to the k is greater than or equal to k to the e. And of course, we are going to have equality if and only if k is equal to e. So you can just replace pi by any other non-negative number and repeat the same proof. So we have shown something stronger than what we set out to prove. We have shown that e to the k is greater than k to the e for every non-negative values of k other than e. By the way, pi to the e is approximately 22.459 and we see once again that e to the pi is greater than pi to the e.